Don't be too quick to dismiss or try to fill the craving. Instead, quench your wilderness thirst in Jesus Christ. If the story of Scripture can be told and in, in, in summarized in, in various ways, one way is you find yourself in this desert and that God sends His Son, Jesus Christ, and says, you will be filled, you'll be fully filled as you come to me. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. He came to earth to save us from our useless searching and unsatisfactory gorging so that we might be satisfied in God alone. He died on the cross for our sins so that full payment has been made for all of our sins, all of our failure, all of our rebellion, and so that by faith in Him, we might be reunited with the God of life, the God who created all of this. We'll hear more about God the Father and our creation this afternoon and the richness of, of that truth. But Jesus Christ shows us the depth of God's love in giving Himself fully and completely to us, even though we don't deserve it. When you experience deprivation, when you go through times of suffering, instead of complaining and grumbling or working hard to quickly change it, pause and seek after Jesus Christ. Stop and pray. Stop and read. Stop and meditate. Earnestly. Not just quickly seek after God, but earnestly seek after God, and He will satisfy. Strive, beloved brothers and sisters, for rest in Jesus Christ. Learn to use hungry times of life, thirsty times of life, lonely times of life, empty times of life, unfulfilled times of life to reorient your heart from the creational things to the Creator Himself. See the wilderness as a given opportunity from God to feast on Him. And so today, whether you're coming from a week filled with consumption and beauty and wonder, where you feel like you've walked into a, a desert that you can't relate to, or whether you come from a week or you feel that something is missing, this morning may you hear God's word. May you come, taste, and see that he is good. Quench your thirst for life in Jesus Christ. Amen.